Yes. Everybody say, I don't deserve it. But by his blood I do. Somebody shout, I'm not worthy. But by his blood I am worthy to receive deliverance, forgiveness, healing. Ooh, somebody just name whatever it is. Stop binding God with your mouth uh, that's coming from a heart condemned. Uh, get back to the cross. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The blood of his cross Hallelujah. says receive. Hallelujah. Receive. Hallelujah. Receive. 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 Be mine. Somebody in here, you think you just don't add up. Let every head be bowed. You think you just don't measure up to all this Christianity thing. The devil convinces you you can't live like that. Some's even said casually, but really meaning it. Well, if I went into a church, the walls would fall. What they mean by that, they're so condemned. They think God hates them so bad. That God's so mad at them, he'd kill them just the instant they cut he'd come in their house. Let me tell you what he killed. He killed his own son. He slay his own son. His son willingly laid his own life down. So judgment could pass from you to his only son who was the only worthy one. Let's take our place. Calvary is God's great exchange. God said at Calvary, I'll make an exchange with you. I'll take your wickedness and give you my righteousness. I'll take your sins and give you my grace. Calvary is where our sins are no longer held in condemnation against us if we believe. We turn from them and call on his name. He said in John 6 and 37, I will in no wise turn you away if you'll come to me. Does that sound like somebody who's going to make the walls fall if you come in his house? Do we see in Luke 15, the father in verse 20, seeing his prodigal son that had wasted all his life on riotous living, the prodigal? And we see the father running to his son and embracing him and him smelling like the stench of pigs, putting a new robe on him, new shoes on his feet, putting a ring on his finger. Saying, my God, let's throw a party. My son that was lost now is found. Does that look like a father who's rejected someone? Psalms 86 and 5 said he is ready to forgive all those that call upon him. That means he's more ready to forgive you than you are willing to be for. That's how ready he is. Great love hath no man in this, and the man lay down his life for his friends, John 15, 13. Does Jesus love me? The cross says so. The cross is his message of invitation. Come just as you are. And when I touch your life, I'll change you. And though I love you like you are, I'll love you so deeply that when you step away from this altar this morning, you won't wow. leave like you came. I'll love you so much you won't stay who you are. I'll change you. I'll make you a new creature. In Christ Jesus. Say so right there, it's 517. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. Preacher, you don't know what I've done. You're right, I don't. But he does, and he still calls you. Ain't that amazing? They some people, if, if they and you know right now, if they knew who you used to be, they wouldn't have nothing to do with you right now. There's people you know right now, even in church, if they know what you've done last week, they would excommunicate you. They don't have nothing to do with you again. But Jesus still calls. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man will come and open the door. I'll come into him and sup with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 His voice is knocking this morning. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you did. You may not even feel worthy to be in his presence at this moment. 
Your heart made me feel like it's about to beat out your chest. You feel so convicted of the sin and the lifestyle you've lived. If Jesus would say to you today with open arms, see him on the cross. See the blood coming out of his body. His flesh hanging like ribbons. Nails through his wrists and through his feet. See him in Luke 23, 34, looking down at the Roman soldiers who are gambling with his garments while he's hanging naked, bloody, beating him in full pain for every sin on the cross. And the soldiers are down there laughing and they're gambling, casting lots, watching him on the cross. They're playing games with his blood, playing games with his sacrifice. But yet you still hear him saying, Father, I forgive them for they know not what they do. Somebody that's been your life. You've just sat around and you've played games with God. You've played games with this gospel. You've played games with the message of His blood. This ain't the first time you've heard it. You've just watched. But yet He still cries out from the cross. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Friend, that's the love of God that blows the minds of men, women, boys, and girls. It's Ephesians 3, verse 19 that says, To know the love of God that passeth all knowledge, that you might be filled with the fullness of God. You can't be filled with nothing from God. Forgiveness, Holy Ghost baptism, miracles, signs, and wonders, the fullness, the completeness of God until you see His love that passes all knowledge. Don't try to figure this love out because it's beyond our comprehension. But the cross describes it as such. He says today, Hallelujah, I forgive you for you know not what you did. I, because you don't know what you were doing, I forgive you. And today He's calling, He's beckoning, He's calling out to somebody. He constrains them with His love. 2 Corinthians 5. 14, he constrains. He captures you. Hallelujah. Your attention, your heart with his cross, with his love. Hallelujah. And he brings you into his custody right now. If you'll let him. Jeremiah 31 verses 3 says with his everlasting love has he brought me unto himself. By his love he calls you to himself. I'm going to count three while every head's bowed. Ready? Like Brother Robert just said. Ready? Are you ready? That ain't just Robert. One. That's Holy Ghost. This is a countdown to eternity. Two. There it is. When he hit, all right, he just hit three. One, two, three. What will you do with Jesus? He already decided what he'd do with you. He said, I'll receive you. I'll die for you and receive you if you'll receive me. Come, come now. Come now. Countdown's already been ready? given. Are you ready? One. There you go. God's a God of second two. chances. He comes to you a second time. <coughs> there he is. He gave you a second chance. Listen to that. Five. Come on. Come on. Somebody, you're about to get up. You feel like, man, you, you can already see yourself at the altar. You just can't move yet. I promise you, if you'll make one step, the rest of them, you'll think, how in the world? Uh, it was so easy after that. Just move right now. If you're sitting with somebody you can't win, just touch them on the hand or touch them somewhere and they'll, they'll know they'll come with you. How do you, but you, you need to come now. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, Marvin, forget about the 99 right now. I'm after one. I'm after one. Come on, come on. Obey the Holy Ghost. Come on, obey the Spirit of God. You're not promised tomorrow. Proverbs 27 and 1 said, Boast not yourself of tomorrow. You don't know what a day is going to bring. Hebrews 3 and 7 says, Work for today if you'll hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians 6 and 2 says, Today is the day of salvation. Hell is filled with procrastinators. People who heard the biggest lie of the devil, the biggest lie of Satan is, is not this. Don't believe on Jesus. It's just don't do it today. The devil has convinced many, just don't do it today. And their tomorrow never came. Come on, you're doing something with this gospel right now. You're either obeying it or you're disobeying. If you're going to escape the wrath to come, you must not be a child of disobedience. You must be a child of obedience. You must begin to do what he says to do. All you got to do is come. All you got to do is come and call on his name. I Amen. 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 Praise God. Brother Young just wanted to say out loud, and I don't even know what he's talking about. But he said he wanted everybody to know Amen. you. He has not talked to me since the last time I was here. Hallelujah. Boy, he was talking this morning. He said, you're going to confirm 
thanks, even in this service. I, I still don't know what it is. I'll have to get with you afterwards. You know. Hallelujah. I give you praise, Jesus, if that's the will of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come. Come. Play that song that I sang earlier. Just play it for a moment. I'm going to minister to saints here in just a few minutes. Sammy ain't here today say I've been condemned, I've been walking around in it, and I realized this morning that's one of the things that's hindered God from doing things that I've not been able to receive because I've been walking in condemnation. Raise your hand if that's you. Amen. God's going to bring you to all in just a moment. Hallelujah. Give you praise, Jesus, for the anointing. But there's an individual in here, and there may be more than that individual. They could be more than one. But I know there's at least one. God is calling you to a place of repentance in his own. He said, I won't turn you away. Think about that. The God of heaven and earth, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I was lost. I was changed. The world had a hold on me. Come on, has that been you? Ain't you tired of them chains? Ain't you tired of the world? Back in you. Couldn't run, couldn't run from his presence. I couldn't run, couldn't run from his arms. Jesus, he loves me. He loves me. He is for me. Jesus, how can it be? He loves me. Don't run from his arms. Run to him. Run. You've already heard this song once saying. You've heard it in your hearing earlier. You know what I end. One day you know your life I end too. Make sure it ends up. Come. I could run, could run from his presence. I could run, could run from his arms. Jesus, he loves me. He loves me. He is for me. Jesus, how can it be? Come on, he loves you. Will you reject it or receive it? Song ends, and we'll get the minister to sing this. Come on, what if it's the last time you've ever had? Better come while you can. Jesus, he loves me. Oh, he loves me. Ecclesiastes 9.12 oh, Just let that song keep playing for a moment I want every saying in here that says Brother Martin I've been so condemned over my past That I realized this morning through this word That I've been restricting God I've been putting up that ceiling with condemnation Between me and what heaven wants to do in my life Today by his blood I'm going to come to his altar and I'm going to say by the blood of the Lamb I am worthy to receive by the blood of the Lamb I am worthy to be healed by the blood of the Lamb I am worthy to be delivered and receive all that heaven has for me that's you get out of your seat come proclaim that by the blood of the Lamb 
Come say what the blood says. What God loves, God speaks. You need to speak what God loves so you can receive. And see, God is not mad at you. I know y'all used to hear me preach just a, almost <laughs> a sound that's different than this because as a prophet, we, we come a lot of times and we say things kind of hard and harsh, but I heard the Holy Ghost today. He said, go prick the heart with my cross and my love because I want their faith back in me again. I want them to believe me again. Come on, God's not mad at you. Just man may fall seven times, but yet he rises up again, Proverbs 24, 16. That means even a righteous person may completely fall, but their fall does not complete them. The Holy Ghost says, I receive today. I receive your faith in me. I receive. And today, he says back to you, receive from me. Book of Proverbs says, make no friendship with an angry man. God says, I'm not an angry man. What I clean is clean. What I wash is washed. What I call pure is pure. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's some chains that come off of you right now. I prophesy every chains broke. Destroyed from you now. For whom the sun sets free is free indeed. John 8 36. Jesus. Don't be in a hurry at this hour. Stay here as long as you need to. Oh, Jesus. How can I stand when you are not there? In the name 